Hi, everybody. Let's have some fun. This is the Dollar Tree vase that I'm going to be Mod Podging. Uh, as you see through the video, there is going to be a little, some hiccups, but I think I resolved them somewhat. So stay with this video if you're interested to see the little hiccups and things that I did. Right here, I'm showing you things that I'm going to be using on this vase. All right. So here are the Dollar Tree napkins. They have the bird on it and the bottle and some spiders. And this is where the first hiccup begins. <laughs> but anyway, I figure it out. One thing about me, I do not give up. So keep with me in this video and you'll see the end result. Okay, so I tore the napkin versus cutting it. I wanted that rough edge. I did leave the bottom of it straight to go around this vase. Now to me, the vase looks modern and I want to make it look old. So here I am putting on some decoupage, but I'm not putting it all over the vase. I'm only going to do it in sections because if I did it all over, it would have been a hot mess. Now I didn't put too much, just enough to make that napkin stick. That is a Dollar Tree brush that I'm using too. Okay, so here's the first hiccup. I'm putting the napkin on. Now, I don't mind the wrinkles in it. I want that because I think it'll make it look more aged. But it's a two-ply napkin. So, nope, that piece has to come off. So I get rid of that and I take the napkin and put it back on. I try to line it up somewhat at the bottom, but I don't want perfection here. And I think you're going to get the lines anyway because the vase is ridged. Now here I am just putting down the edges. I want the edges to stick. And like I said, I'm not worried about these wrinkles. I want that in there. So here we go. All my podge on the edges. Now, I should have left it like that, but I didn't. I put my podge all over it, and then you're going to see what it looks like here. It kind of blends in with the with the black vase. So here we go. Now, as you can see, I didn't get it all the way to the bottom and that's fine. I'm just trying to spread that up. Look at that. That's part of the brush, Dollar Tree brush. One of the bristles came out. So if you're using the Dollar Tree brushes, be careful of that because you don't want that in your 
you know, in your vase. Although maybe it would make, look kind of cool, right? One of the feathers, maybe? <laughs> you like my imagination? So, anyway. Here we go. I'm cutting another piece, taking that backing off. And putting it on. I'm adding more Mod Podge to the empty space in the back. And just applying it. Patting it down. Now you can see me looking at that first one that I laid down. I'm not liking it too much, but you'll see as we go along what I do. Alrighty, I'm just getting those edges down. Now some of the black base I am going to leave showing. Because in my mind it's going to be uh, where the plaster of the base broke away. <laughs> yeah, only in my mind, right? Alright. Now you see me looking at it and I'm not really liking it because to me it doesn't have any, uh, uh, what's the word I want to use? It doesn't have any, I don't know, definement to it. just like blending all in and you can't really make out what it's supposed to be. See, I'm showing you, you can't see it. And I don't like that. So, see, can you tell I'm not liking it? So I'm taking a break from that. Oh, here I am trying to use this to see maybe if I pat it down a little more, you get more, you can see more of the base and of the bird. But, yeah, not. See, I'm not liking it. So I'm going to take a little break from that and do something else with it. But I go back to it. Alrighty. I'm opening up the skulls. And I want to put one skull head on the edge. So I'm getting my hot glue, and if you can see, I'm going to show underneath the skull. There's like a ridge. See it right there? And that's where I'm going to put the hot glue, and that's where I want to set it on the edge of the, the vase. I want to get it like in that crease. Holding it down till it sets. All right. Now that does not end up there, guys. This whole thing gets switched up. But I just want to show you that if you're not, you know, a DIYer, if you're an amateur DIYer like I am, uh, it can still turn out okay. And I think this did in the end. 
and you'll see it. Now, I'm taking the ring there that you get in the package. That's the bat ring, and I'm taking the ring part off. I'm just cutting it off. It's very soft plastic, so it's easy to cut. That came with the skulls too. It had the skull rings and the bat wings. I mean, rings. I'm looking at the bat. <laughs> oh boy. I'm telling you guys, only me. So I placed the bat there. It's not gonna end up there. Yeah, see it? It's not gonna be there. Because I have to go back to that vase. I have to like get it to where I'm happy with it. Now there's the little skull ring. And again, I'm going to cut off the ring part. And I'm going to glue that on there also. But like I said, it's not going to stay there. This was a process for me, I have to say. I never decoupaged a ridged vase like this. So it's a first time learning, but I did learn from it. And I think the end result came out really nice. I'm happy with it. But as you can see, it's going to be a little process for me. Now, I'm, I'm figuring I'm going to put a sticker on there. There's another hiccup that I run into. All righty. I'm going to use that one down there. It says spooktacular and has all the skull heads on it. Now me, foolishly thinking that it's just going to stick to the vase. But it's not. And I'm pressing it on there pretty tight. But I think because of the ridges, it and the curve of the vase, it wasn't going to stick. So what do I do? I get the hot glue. <laughs> I can't even with myself sometimes, guys. Are you like that? <laughs> oh, I don't give up, though. That's, you know, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, the head fell off. Well, that didn't last very long now, did it? So now I'm gonna put some hot glue on the other side. There we go. And me thinking it's gonna stay. Ah, uh, yeah, it didn't. Yeah, I'm trying to get extra glue off a bit. It did look cute there for a minute. But I didn't keep that on there either. Here I am trying to glue it again. Here I am thinking it's going to stay, right? Now, I'm going back to the vase. I'm ripping up more napkins. Well, another napkin. And I'm going to put another layer. Now, that's still, the vase is still quite sticky. 
so I'm able to lay the napkin right on top without any adding any more decoupage. There, look at that sticker. Just hang in there. Off it goes. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no good. All right, so here I am putting on more of the napkin. I am going to go around the edges, though, with more decoupage. There we go. But what I'm doing this time is I'm just gonna decoupage the edges and not the whole thing. So there I am ripping some more. Placing it down. Now, I'm sure you guys have a better technique for this. But like I said, I don't do this all that often and I'm just winging it at this point. All right, here I am getting more of the decoupage, uh, Mod Podge. And I'm just sticking down the edges. I'm liking it much better, I can tell by the look on my face. Because I can see more, you know, of the bird and of the bottle. And like I said, I'm not worried about all these uh, creases in the napkin. I just think it gives it more character. And to try and smooth that out, I don't think that I could do that. I think I would end up tearing it all and, you know, getting frustrated with it. And like I said, I'm making it look aged. I'm telling myself that anyway. <laughs> Oh, there, see? Now you can see the bird. All right. All right, I think you got it. You should stop. I'm telling myself. There. That's not the end result, though, guys. I think it turned out much better than I expected in the end. But I'm taking you through my whole process and how I'm learning along the way. Yeah, going back to that skull. Here we go. Oh, I'm going to take off the old glue first. All right, now I'll add some more hot glue in that ridge. See how I left that one spot bare though on the base? That's to make it look like it's cracked. 
a little. In my mind, anyway. <laughs> An illusion. Now, for some reason, this skull did not want to stick on this vase. Watch when I let go. There it goes. There it goes. So now I'm taking some more hot glue, putting it on the sides of the skull to give it more stability. And there it goes again. Now at this point, I'm like, I don't know if this is going to work. All right, it's not moving. So I says, as long as it's not moving. All right, now I'm taking that bat. Because I took those off. I took that bat off and I'm putting it near the skull. And I'm pressing that skull down again. All right, there we go. Got the bat near the skull. I'm touching it very gingerly. All right, see the bird? You can see the bird, you can see the bottle. So here I go with more decoupage. I mean, Mod Podge. Leave the hat alone. Oh, all right, it's stuck. <laughs> oh, I can't even. All right. So at this point, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to fool with it anymore. Oh, I guess I'm wrong. I do. All right. There we go. Okay, so I took a break for a minute, let it sit there, see if it would dry up a little. So I'm going to put that aside, and I'm going to go to the twigs that I got from the Dollar Tree, the black ones and that purple one. On the purple one, I'm going to put two bats. I'm going to glue it to the tree. Now, I'm trying to figure out if I could just put it on with the rings, but you can't. It doesn't work. For me, anyway. So, I'm cutting off the ring. Pop. Putting some hot glue on the back. and attaching it to the branch. There you go, one near the bottom. And then I'm gonna put one towards the, up a little bit more from that one. I was going to put three on there, but I don't know. I changed my mind. So, put one up a little bit more from that one, from the first one.
There you go. I think that looks pretty cool. I like it. Okay. Now, I'm looking at the black branches, and I was thinking about putting them on there, and then I decided not to. I'm just going to leave the two on the purple branch. So, so far, that's what it's looking like. I got the skull head right over the bottle, which was kind of cool. Now I'm putting in the branches. I like that look. Now comes the purple branch. In there. Now the purple branch is kind of like um, top heavy. And it kept turning. And I didn't like that. See how it just keeps turning twirling all around. So I take it out and I get those other the napkins that I didn't use, you know, the, the second layer and everything and the parts of the napkin that I didn't use. And I'm putting it at the bottom of this to make it more stable inside the vase so it doesn't twirl around. I know I could have used one of those foam thingies, but I was just improvising for now. And then I'm going to take the rings, the skulls and the bats. I was going to cut the ring part off and then I was like, ah, the heck with that. I'm just going to throw them in the vase. At the bottom of the twigs, why not? There we go. Now, I'm basically going to call this a day, but I'm going to show you right after this. I say bye, but stay, stay with me because I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's dry. There, that's what it looks like now. Okay, that's it, but stay with me. Here we go. Here it is all dry. I think it came out really really good i like it i'm happy with it look at that isn't that pretty i use the word pretty but cool looking <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. There you go. Bye.